I got a kick out of it. I went and did a blog just before the Florida primary and said, I'm really looking forward to finding out what the vote tally is for the amount of dead people that were going to vote in the Florida primary. But I found out on the Rush Limbaugh show that, you know what, they have voter ID. So if you're a dead man and you had a, an ID, well, then you could vote. But if you didn't, then you were shit out of luck. But, oh, I didn't know about this one. Yeah, Florida isn't committing voter fraud. They're committing delegate for fraud. <laughs> this is incredible. Geo, this is being rec uh, reported on Mark America. GOP scandal. Florida violates another rule. Most of you will remember that Florida, by moving its primary up to January, waived half of its delegates to the National Convention. As it now turns out, they may have violated another rule, and it stands to benefit Newt Gingrich, Rick Santorum, and Ron Paul. <coughs> Excuse me. All to the detriment of Mitt Romney. It seems that there is another rule that forbids winner-take-all primaries and caucuses prior to April 1st. This is being covered by a variety of outlets, but Burns and Haberman at Politico have given it in-depth coverage. They have outlined a problem and actually quote the GOP rules. Any presidential primary, caucus, convention, or any other meeting held for the purpose of selecting delegates to the National Convention, which occurs prior to the first day of April in the year in which the National Convention is held, shall provide for the allocation of delegates or a proportional basis. Rule number 15B2. Emphasize mine. Uh-oh, Mitt, you see. If we are to accept the Virginia GOP mustn't change the rules to permit others who had missed qualifications for the ballot access in that state, we must also conclude, since the GOP is a party that follows its own rules, it must follow this one. I have read the account that Gingrich Camp is already pursuing this, as they should, because as Mitt Romney Camp hurries to remind us about Virginia rules, our rules. I will link up the last paragraph of this quick blog that uh, Mark America posted. But hey, Mark Levin should be actually checking this one out because he doesn't like the fact that there's only two candidates on his ballot in Virginia because he feels that he is being disenfranchised as a voter in Virginia. Oh, woo, baby. Well, I guess Mark Levin should be talking about this one on his show. Bring up the rules. Bring up the rules. Bring up the freaking rules. I find this to be quite fascinating. Oh, yeah. April Fool's Day on all of you people that voted in Florida. Yeah, April Fool's would be the joke that your own GOP is playing on you. And if I was Rick Santorum, Ron Paul, and Newt Gingrich, oh, oh yeah. I'd be down there challenging every one of those freaking delegates. Yeah, maybe Mitt ain't going to be getting 50 delegates from Florida. Maybe we want to look and see who the real GOP frontrunner is after these delegates are divvied up. Well, I'm Tim Donovan, and I'm on the right. You want to know where I am? Just look to the right. You're going to see me on the right side of Kennebunk. <laughs>